Namaste guys. In this video, I am going to teach you the awesome mechanism that you have currently watched. So let's get started. I am going to make all my parts in assembly, okay, to save my time. So click on insert components, click on new part, select the front plane, press ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view. Now draw a rectangle, you can use any kind of rectangle as per your requirement. I am choosing a center rectangle. Now give it a length as per your requirement. So here I am giving it a length of 300 into 4 Give the diameter as per your requirement. So here I am giving it a diameter of 50 mm, that means 5 cm. And press escape, select this horizontal line, make it horizontal, click OK. After that, click on linear pattern, click on linear pattern sketch, select this, and Make the distance 300 mm. Increase the number of instances as per your requirement. Click OK. Now trim the necessary lines. Go to features, click on extrude post base. Extrude as per your requirement. Uh, before extruding, just increase the distance. Okay. Before going to extrude, just increase the distance uh, to 250 mm uh, because we are going to need it. Click OK. Now extrude it. 10 mm, uh, 5 mm is okay. Now Select this face, click on sketch, draw a center line from here to here. Now draw a circle 50 mm, 150 mm, and distance from here to here is 130 mm. Click on linear sketch, select this axis, increase the distance to 150 mm, sorry 300 mm. Click OK, go to features, click on extrude cut, click through all, click OK. So here we have created our first part. Now select this top surface, uh, press Ctrl plus 8 and in sketch mode click on sketch, click on convert entities, press Ctrl plus A, press Ctrl plus C to copy the sketch. Exit the sketch mode, exit the edit assembly component mode. Now click on insert, click on new part, select the front plane, press ctrl plus v, 
extrude uh, just simply extrude it to 5 mm now select this face click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view now draw a hole here let's say diameter is 50 mm you can increase or decrease the diameter as per your requirement and this is 130 mm press escape select this point and this point make it vertical click on copy entities select this entity uh, select a point for example this and move this forward make sure that this size is 130 mm again click on make vertical and this 50 mm click on extrude cut through all click ok exit the edit assembly component mode now right click on this part sorry uh, select this part ok and go to the mates select this face and the front plane go to distance increase the distance as per your requirement i am giving a distance of 150 mm click ok now ok now i am going to create a one more part the reason i have given this distance mate because i am going to use mirror pattern command uh, later onwards that is the reason i have used this because i am uh, going to use this plane as a mirror now let's make another part so click on here click on new part select the front plane press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view go to state slot select this one and draw it distance is 150 mm and this one is 55 50 again make another one that is also going to be 50 mm let's make it 60 mm now go to features click on extrude 5 mm click ok press f2 now first exit the assembly component mode and select this part press f2 enter the name crank click on rebuild icon uh, to remove those traffic light icons now go to the mates select this face uh, this one and this one click ok and select this one and this one click ok select this face and this face click ok select this face and this face so click ok uh, right click on this part click on change transparency uh, select this one make sure it is fixed so here we have uh, now what i need to do is simply uh, press ctrl and right click on this crank and drag this select this face and this face click ok select this face and this face click ok select this face and this face click ok and select this face 
add this face Just click ok uh, so here you can see so what i'm going to do is now is i'm going to use mirror command so click on mirror component select the front plane select all the component click ok so here you can see it's moving and let's do a one last modification to this part so select this part click on the edit component and select the front plane of it click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view just draw a line like this escape go to extrude 5 mm make sure that the thickness of extrusion is in the right direction click ok now exit the edit assembly component mode and after that we need to make a last part so click on new part select the front plane press ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view make a road of diameter 50 mm and go to features click on extrude post base click on mid plane and increase the thickness up to 330 mm click ok exit the edit assembly component mode move this part select this part select the front plane click on mate select the front plane from the top of the assembly click ok now move this part a little back select this face press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view move a little upwards ok now before i uh, do any other step make sure that you watch that you watch this video of, of some you know uh, chases mechanism that i have made uh, you can watch this video tutorial link is in description i have made this whole assembly in solidworks in just uh, 45 minutes uh, all these things from scratch so this video is very helpful for those who are beginners so make sure that you watch this video now let's now let's go to the main assembly now we left here now what we need to do is go to solvox add-in click on solvox motion go to motion study click on motion analysis click on motor select the crank uh, click on distance enter the value of 360 into 1, 2, 3, uh, 360 to 4. Uh, the total time is 10 seconds. Click OK. Uh, move this to 10 seconds. Uh, right click on orientation. Uh, sorry. Right click here. disable playback of view keys and click on calculate uh, as you can see it's doing nothing the reason doing nothing is because i have to select the crank i accidentally selected something else so make sure that your name written is crank here and click on reverse direction click ok now 
and you need to do some more things for example contact use of use contact groups select this one and this one and sorry select this one and the second one select this one and the outer one click ok again click on contacts use of contact group select this one and now select the inner one plates click ok press f uh, for fit to the screen click on calculate Uh, stop it go to the gravity click on y direction click ok now click on calculate again so here you have seen let's view in asymmetric view let's change the color first Click OK and I click on this one and it changes color all as well. And right click on this crack part and changes color as well. Right click on this one and changes color to black. Now click on play. Uh, right click on it Oops. I don't know why it's not changing colors. So this is how you can make a transport assembly model in SolidWorks. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If you have any doubts and queries, make sure you ask in comments. And also, if you have any project, you can hire me for your projects as well. Uh, just check out the link in description i hope you guys like this video make sure you give it a like and thumbs up and subscribe it thanks for watching and have a great day namaste